Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that I can create a news update Android app using Python. Now a visual demo of this project will be popping up on the right hand of your screen. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You press the button and you get the latest news headlines. Now I intentionally took this basic project as my first project for Android app development because it's always good to start with the basics, right? And I have multiple projects lined up on this uh, Android app field. I have audio control, camera control, uh, login sign up and multiple projects like this and then we'll move on to game development also. Okay, I mean game development with Kiwi in uh, Android app. And also present on the screen is the content of the video or the process of uh, execution let's start off with the step zero which is to install the required package you need to install only one package which is kiwi so quickly open cmd and write pip install uh, kiwi and uh, for majority of you it will take some time because it's a big package it will take some time but uh, it will get installed but if you're getting some error here then what you need to do is you need to go to this website i'll provide this link in the description uh, you need to go to this website this is the unofficial web page for uh, python binaries you need to search kiwi here and then download it according to your python and system version so after our package is installed let's get to our editor and start writing our code okay, so now we are into our editor now this project can be split into two parts can be divided into two parts first is the front end the gui part and second is the back end or the logical part okay let's start with the front end first for front end you need to create a kiwi file okay when you are creating the file just write the extension of dot kv like uh, in python we write dot py in kv write dot kv okay so we have only one screen in this uh, app okay which is the new screen let's say new screen we'll have this new screen and uh, we have two parts on the right hand of your screen you can see the gui of our app we have two parts first is the part where the news will be displayed and second is the part where we have the button so screen can be split into two parts we'll create grid layout with two columns so this is the main grid layout and we have two columns here first column for the label for the text and second column for our button so uh, we'll write column one here then we'll start our first grid layout and then we'll create a label and uh, this is actually very important command okay the news that we are fetching from the uh, news api which we will discuss on the later end of this uh, video the size of the string the size of the news i mean the word count is not specified right so if we don't specify the word wrapping then some text may go out of the screen so this text size parameter is very important and uh, we cannot set a fixed value here we are dealing with multiple screen sizes now we have the folding phone where if you fold it it's very thin we have tablets we have normal phones so screen sizes vary to very great extents so we have to calculate the screen size and then deal with that value okay so with root dot width we are getting the screen width and uh, minus 55 just to uh, fit the text okay then the id here is news we'll use this id to assign string to it or to assign news to it okay and uh, initially the text is zero there will be no string inside there won't be any text on the screen in the starting so this was the label part this was the text part then we have the second layout uh, sorry uh, grid layout which is for the button so uh, we have to specify the size hint so the size of the button according to the screen and then this is the padding now the padding is the space from the corners 10 units from all the corners from the top from the bottom from the right from the left okay 10 unit is the padding from all the corners and uh, as we know this is the column second and uh, button keyword we'll use to create the button and this will be the text on the button and this is the on press okay so what function will be triggered on 
press of this button we'll handle this part in the back end which uh, we'll do with python this is kiwi so uh, on press this function will be called this get news function will be called so this was our front end screen now this is a screen layout okay but for this screen layout to activate we have to create a main function or a trigger function so we'll create this main widget here and we have only one screen uh, which is name screen and we'll name uh, we'll uh, assign a name to it new screen okay so this was the front end part of our app it's pretty simple we have two components our uh, text and the buttons and our button will trigger this function okay now let's go to the back end and see how we are feeding the data to this front end okay so this is our python back end file so uh, before we move ahead, let's have a word from our today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by An Academy. Are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in software development? Then you have to think about these aspects like what's trending in the industry and the kind of questions being asked in the interview. What's the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zomato and Ola and how to improve your core chef ranking. So to achieve all these goals, what you need to do is you need to go to unacademy.com slash goals slash career as a software developer. I'll provide this link in the description. And first, let's talk about the host or the mentors of these courses. Now, these hosts are working with some of the top companies like Google, Amazon, to name a few. They are seven star coders on Code Chef and are industry experts with years of experience. And what they'll do is they'll walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they'll ask questions raised by you. Now this was about the mentors. Let's go to the live sessions and see what they have to offer for you. Now in these live episodes, you'll get an opportunity to ask tech HR about top 20 questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and multinational companies. What is the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great projects. And not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, blockchain and crypto, cloud computing, tech aspects of digital marketing, data analysis, and many more. One of the India's leading digital marketing experts will be coming live on a weekly basis and teaching digital marketing using practical projects and tools. Get to understand the technical aspects in a fun and easy way. You will be taught all about the digital marketing from zero. So don't worry if you don't know the basics. Now we all know about the ads which run over multiple apps like YouTube, Flipkart, Amazon, Instagram. But how the companies manage to target the correct audience and convert these leads into sales? And what is that you will not find on YouTube but will find in these courses? Things like live projects, interactive sessions and many more things. Now you must be thinking that you have to pay a hefty price for courses like this. But no. You have to pay 999 rupees per month to get access to all of these codes. But wait, there is more. If you use my code HARSHITROY, you will get an additional 10% off. Let me show you. You need to just write HARSHITROY and click apply and you will get an instant 100 rupees off. So all the links will be provided in the description. Definitely check them out and let's move on to our next project. Okay, so now we are back into our editor. So first of all, we have to import the required libraries. We have to import a few classes from Kiwi. First is the uh, main app class. Then we have build a class which will be used to load our design KV file. Then uh, we have screen manager and screen. And then we have our core window. Okay, so these four are the basic requirements to create an KV app. But uh, we are also making a API request. So we have to use some sort of URL request library. So this URL request is the package that Kiwi provides for request. Okay, so we'll call this class here and uh, it also needs a certificate. So I guess it comes with Kiwi, but uh, still you can double check it. Just uh, pip install certify. Randoms comes pre-installed, so we don't need to install that. So first step is to load our KV file. Okay, so the name of our file is design. So we are using the load file class from our builder 
and the file that we are loading is design.kv okay so as soon as this program is uh, executed this python program is executed after this uh, kv file is loaded uh, this if name is equal to equal to main condition will be true which means that this uh, main class will run okay and this main class is calling this main widget so this main widget class is uh, basically used for screen management okay although we are having only one screen here but it's good practice to include this screen manager class so what was happening in our backend is uh, when the button was pressed this get news function was called okay so this get news function is uh, inside this uh, new screen class and uh, as soon as the button is pressed first of all we have to create this uh, api key variable and paste your api key here so one more thing you need to do is you need to go to the news uh, api and then register there and get your api key so go to google or whatever web browser you're using and simply write uh, news api go to this website i'll provide the link in the description also and then click on get api key uh, write all the details here and submit and you will end up to a web page that will show you an api key okay now i don't think so i have to tell you that how to uh, enter your details here you can do it yourself so let's close the browser then this is the main url okay so uh, let me break down this url and uh, explain you that what data we'll be getting so uh, first is the news api.org the main uh, url then we have the top headlines okay so we want the top headline i guess we get uh, 15 to 16 uh, news articles this is the uh, approx number of top headlines that this uh, news api provides then we have to specify the country i'm writing in here for uh, india if you are from outside india you have to write your country code here then uh, api key is equal to this api key variable then we are using our url request library and the parameters are first is the main url okay then we have on success okay so uh if this url is working then uh, this self dot news list this function will be called okay and uh, then we are giving the certificate here and uh, verify is equal to true okay so don't play along with these uh parameters they are pretty much fixed specify the function name here which will be triggered when this main url is true make sure that you are placing the right api key here okay don't leave this blank then after that this uh, news list uh, function is called so this all news variable will store the result of this self dot news now this result will be a huge list with the success message and a bunch of more data but we are only interested in the news articles so this uh, article variable will store the news articles okay and then we'll create a empty list which will basically store the news title so for ar in articles we are iterating in this uh, article variable which is basically the news articles we are appending this empty list with the titles of these news articles okay so this uh, news article has two values first is the title and second is the body of the news now the body of the news is uh, really big and we don't want that we only want those cheesy titles okay so those titles will be stored in this uh, news articles list and then what we'll do is just uh, ignore these commented part this was my rough column uh, then what we'll do is we'll randomly select a news article from this list and store it in this final news article variable okay and then what we'll do self dot ids now if you remember from our design kv file the id of our uh, label was news okay so news dot text so the text inside that news label will be final news article the randomly selected news article okay so this is the backend of our android app now the third part is very tricky creation of a apk file and uh, it's very hard to do this task on a windows machine so if you are working on linux then uh, wonderful if you don't you have to install a virtual machine so the next task is to install the virtual machine 